Hey guys, what up? It's Team Radio CDS here, and I'm back here with uh, another fix-up video, and I'm going to be calling these series the uh, the custom corner from now on. So if you see that uploaded, that's what this is. Um, but yeah, um, I asked everyone on uh, on Instagram what I should name it. They said the custom corner sounded good, so I think it was a pretty solid choice. But yeah, let's get right into it. Um, what we have here first is a Elite 5 Dolph Ziggler fix up. Uh, what is this head? I'm not entirely too sure which head scan this is, but as you can see, it really makes this figure pop more. I do like the old head scan, the very first one, but I feel like this head right here, it seems more detailed and yeah. So you got that. And the next up is this uh, custom basic Seth Rollins that I made a long time ago. I think I showed this to you guys on Instagram and everything, but I did have a, what old Seth Rollins head is it? Here, do I have it in my pocket? I do. I did have this head scan on it because it was just a custom. I painted the gray on the sides, painted the boots gold, and I'm probably gonna give him plain like uh, wrist tape arms instead of the gloves. I think it would look cool, but yeah. Oh, I also gave him, as you can see, I gave him the Elite 45 head scan. But yeah, pretty sweet figure. I like it a lot. <coughs> Next up is this Tyler Breeze custom. Uh, this has been made for a very long time now. I just decided to put pink armbands on him because I absolutely hated matching the pink from the uh, the trunks, but yeah. Jesus, uh, Jesus acetone to Bret Hart for me that I got from Prime Wrestling a long time, probably back in like April, and I finally just got around to sealing this figure, putting the wristbands on it, and it's pretty much complete now. I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite Breeze attire. So yeah, this is another Breeze that I'm going to be using in my Fed. And then next up, this Cesaro. Now this Cesaro, before just had the uh. The trunks, that's it, and it was just chilling in my bin. So whenever I got that new basic Cesaro, I uh, was like, well, I don't need the gray one because I already bought the Elite. So I just cracked the torso, put it on this, and also put the uh, the, sh the calves slash boots on this. And now I have another Cesaro, but this time it's in red. I was debating on putting the knee pads on it, but... After you look at it without the knee pads, it uh, kind of looks weird. So that's a Cesaro that I have. Another Cesaro to my collection. Um, this is not done yet, but it's in the process of it. I just have to send it to Jesus so he can acetone off the uh, off the um, tattoo on the back because it is a Alberto Del Rio torso. But yeah, so you got rock shoulders, rock arms. Alberto Del Rio Torso, Elite 31 Rockhead, uh, Elite Rock Calves, and then Elite Del Rio Crotch Piece and Thighs. Um, these are decals that I got from some guy on Instagram. His name is Curb Stomp Customs. Uh, but yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Just needs the tattoos taken off like I said up there, but... Jesus always comes through clutch with that, and I should be sending to him pretty soon. Oops, well, I guess since you fell, Brock, you are next. But yeah, this is a basic fix-up inspired by Wad Figs. Uh, this is just the WrestleMania 32 Brock Lesnar. All I did was swap the heads. I'm not entirely too sure if this is the first basic Brock Lesnar head, but I absolutely hated that screaming head scan on that Brock. And then this is basic Stone Cold Steve Austin ripped arms, so... I really like this fix up and I didn't know if it was going to work because I remember from the older uh, basic stone colds they had a weird arm peg but yeah this turned out pretty fine. <clears throat> Next up we have this Elite Shawn Michaels based off his 2003 look. Uh, the head may seem a little bit big but honestly in person it's not. I really like this figure a lot. Um, I'm honestly thinking since I did this, I am going to definitely get the Lost Legends Shawn Michaels just so I have the WrestleMania 19 attire. I mean, not WrestleMania 19. The Elite 19 attire. Um, but yeah. 
basically is 2003 gear. Head head might seem a little bit big. It is a Jack's Havoc Unleashed head. But yeah, I think it's decent enough. Next up, uh, Elite 36 Dean Ambrose. Now, this time I just put the uh, Elite 41 head on. I've had it laying around for a while. And I honestly think this is the better head skin out of the two just because it's serious. So I decided to slap this on this figure and I have the Elite 36 head on the Elite 41. But yeah. I am not entirely too sure how I feel about the new Elite though. Uh, just because of the jeans on them, they're a little bit lighter. So I'm probably going to stick to that, Ambrose. Uh, next up is the Elite 45 Seth Rollins. All I did on this figure was just swap the head from that uh, that basic... or No, I had this head actually laying around from an Elite 37 Rollins that I got from Jesus. But yeah, nothing too crazy. And then next up, last but not least, we have the Broken Hardy, as you can see here. Um, just a Matt Hardy head. Uh, what is this? Shield legs, Elite 36 Ambrose shins, random ass arms. I believe the one is Matt Hardy's and this one was a CM Punk that I had to paint skin tone on. Uh, this is a one of the four horsemen people. It's either Arn or Tolly's, but I think it's Tolly's because the uh, chest hair was acid toned off. But yeah, as you can see. Did the white stitching on it, gave him a white belt, because this is what the hardy look that I like the most. I would have attempted the red, but I am not a fan of painting the red. Gave him the blonde streak in the hair, well it's blonde slash gray. Gave him the eyeliner, gave him the grayish black beard. And then, last but not least, Jeff Hardy from his run with Matt Hardy, the Broken Brothers. But yeah. Same recipe basically, these are just random arms, random torso painted, Elite One Jeff Hardy head with Uso hair that I custom painted his face and everything, gave him black facial hair, painted as an, painted in his eye so it has like that blank white eye, and then the other eye has just like the pupil, gave him black hair, pink belt, white stitching, same with the legs, Elite, Am, uh, elite Shield legs, and then Elite 36 Ambrose lower but yeah pretty sweet figure if I do say so myself but yeah that's it for this episode of uh, custom the custom corner mm. I will be doing another video within like the next few weeks because um, I have a whole bunch of videos like that I need to get up like I need to finish my show I need to do these custom videos, and I shall be getting my ringside order pretty soon, so that'll be another video, but yeah. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment on my channel, and also Jesus Smooth. That would be very much appreciated. Go show him some love. Uh, thanks to Wadfix for the Brock Lesnar idea. Uh, Jesus gave me that idea on the Rollins, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys.